So did it work? <laughs> well, for a lot of you, it will undoubtedly have worked. So what do we often find? We find if the original looks maybe something like this here, then the reconstruction in many cases might look like this. This is interesting, no? In a way, the error that we made here is an improvement. What we have on the right-hand side feels more like this is how a real 3 looks like. And now, does that mean that the latent space Z captures meaningful features? Well, I don't know. Let's think about it. If it did, what would we expect? Then we could say we might have a face with a mustache and a face without a mustache. And arguably, the difference between those two images is the mustache. And now you can say, therefore, what would we like to have? Uh, we would like to have meaningful vector arithmetic, like where we can say face x without mustache, beautiful, like just face. And then we add that mustache component, and then we get the face with the stash. Now, let's look at that. Now, so we can start and visualize things in two dimensions. You can say if we look at the different uh, characters, they will in some re meaningful space, hopefully, have clusters. So the space should form clusters. The clusters might be far away from one another. And then the question is, can we interpolate between clusters? So why didn't you explore about this property of interclass generalization? 